But um, no, yeah, it's another no, thing. Like, um, film festivals, man. So I Ooh, say, hey, I know say you say wanna try about it, film festivals. Say something about it, man. Okay. Yeah, yeah, film festivals. Yeah. Just like, you gotta ask yourself, what do you want out of it? You know what I mean? Like, what is the point of this mm, film festival? See, that's what I'm about to say. What's the point of it? Because a lot of people that submitted their films to film festivals. I was even discussing this on a, a, a uni class today. Mm-hmm. And then, fam, the uni teachers, you gotta stop lying to the students as well, man. Why? <laughs> you gotta stop telling the students, yo, submit your film and you'll be successful, because that's not the case. Oh. Not the case, man, because oh. you're gonna be there scratching your head with your bank account 500 pounds lighter, hey. thinking why you didn't get in. It's politics. Is it man. 500 pounds to submit? I mean, it's expensive. A lot of the festivals are expensive, innit? It might cost 30, 40, 50 pounds per festival. And then you send it out to Bear. Like you send 10. it out to Bear, yeah, maybe yeah. 10, 15, and you won't get in. I think it's horrible. And if you get in, you get paid. No, you don't get paid. So you, you'll, get, you'll get accolade. That's what that's I'm saying, though. Like, yeah, so the way I see it, yeah, is like, I put it to you like this, yeah. People always say, what's the point of coming to uni? Mm-hmm. I say the same thing, what's the point of submitting your film to a film festival, isn't it? I can say that what's the point of coming to you because you're obviously mm-hmm. going to work there, you're going to mm-hmm. hopefully get your degree from there, mm-hmm. which will yeah. hopefully put you... But in I'm back. just saying that like, it's a different time, isn't it? Like maybe 30, 40 years ago, again, the uni degree was more beneficial than it is now, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So I think the same thing for the film festival. I feel like there's just multiple ways to do it other than that now. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to rely on that to... If be where you want to be in it. I, I, I feel like the main thing is kind of just social media is just the greatest tool yeah. rather than to go through festivals and go through that kind of antiquated system mm. that it's probably not even going to be beneficial to you. Like unless unless you're a worker in it, unless you're a worker <coughs> where like you can put that on your CV and be like, yo, my film got submitted to this festival and then when you're applying for a job in it and then you can just say that's on there but i don't think like if you want to do this whole thing independently i don't think it will work because the work that you've created will speak for yourself and not the accolade that you make that you got so I don't the know, though. I, I'm not going to lie know, yeah. When when the um, moment of truth comes out, though, that's going to yeah. make it look even better than it is still. Yeah, yeah, already, 100%. It's won all of these accolades. Yeah, 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 and real talk. It's won all of these accolades, so it does make it look better. Yeah, yeah, still, 100%. It does, it, does, it does help, but the only thing I think that's... I think it's a disgrace that they charge you to... Yeah, 100%. Be because a lot of times they don't even watch your film. Because oh, wow. they have thousands of submissions every and, year. And they get paid. And they don't even watch yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How can they charge And the thing is, you never know if they watched it or not. You don't even know if they even watched it. And is, do they ever, like, watch something and then, like, midway through, yeah, fuck that shit? Yeah, they probably yeah, 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 a lot. Yeah, yeah. They might watch the first five minutes. If it, if they don't, if it doesn't catch them, then it's gone. They're not going to watch it anymore. They just throw it away in the next film. And in this case, that's, mm, what? that's actually it's, it's that's mad, isn't it? Cool. And they've just taken your money. Damn. What, what so happens maybe? if everything goes well? Like, what's the what's the opportunity to come? Like, see, if, that's what I'm saying. You went like, in, what's the benefit of it? Like, like really? imagine you got submitted, you got accepted, and you got okay. nominated for whatever. What, yeah, what he do you has get? been one of yeah. award for me. So usually, what happens is you get say you're like officially selected. Um, your film will be shown at the festival um, to like, you know, hundreds of people. Yeah. And um, I guess in hopes... Who are these hundreds of people? Are they special hundred people or just random hundred people? These are hundred people usually within the industry or like the same, the people that have submitted their film as well that have gotten in. Mm -hmm. So I guess the hope is, is that somebody in that audience is you know, working for Netflix or whoever that can pick it up, you know, because mm. that's the main thing that they're looking for is like somebody to pick it up. But that's not going to happen unless you're at a top tier festival, like maybe a Sundance, or for Cannes example, or like a Cannes or something, yeah, something mm. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's not going to be happening in Ealing Borough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, but I think... Um... Deptford Film Festival, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but I think Bingy is close to that, though. Yeah, um, oh, what's British, it? BFI. British, yeah, BFI is very, that is it, that's huge. Yeah, what's yeah. it called? What's, um, what's it called? Uh, Bath, Bath, that yeah, one. Yeah, Bath, yeah, they're close yeah, to they're high close as well. They're high, they're yeah, high. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're high, high I'm, well. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that there'll be yeah. um, important important yeah. people that will be at that. That's the only Definitely, thing that's annoying about COVID. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, so everything's online. Yeah, everything's online. That's not, yeah, everything's online. That's not, isn't it? Yeah, everything's online. That's 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 that's, that's, that's yeah. That's bullshit. Yeah, yeah. So people I'm, would definitely be there from that because that's a big um festival. Mm-hmm. That is a big festival. Yeah, yeah, it's huge. It's huge, man. So I think the big festivals is great, um, but like I, I wouldn't say is your I wouldn't say it's your golden ticket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As such, I wouldn't say like yeah, because they they're oh, making it seem this. like it is. They yeah, make yeah, it seem like it, it is. seem like it is, isn't it? Mm. But yeah, I say like social media is like your biggest tool, isn't it? Yeah, kind of like Facts. you know promoting your film through that. Word of mouth, just getting it out that way. Word of mouth is because the like, powerful, most powerful. Think about all the top content creators that are out here. Like, oh no, you're gonna. Who of them have actually Sick. got any accolades from film festivals and they're out here <laughs> eating? They're what out, you out here eating. Creators? Oh, you're moving like, mad. You're moving mad. Like, which ones? No, any, any ones. Not, not like specifically. YouTubers or whatever. Yeah, yeah, YouTubers, Instagrammers, like comedians, all these they're guys. Using, yeah. yeah, yeah, none of them. A lot of them dropped out of uni, a lot of them didn't even go to uni, didn't submit any films to festivals or anything like that. Yeah, they're living life, innit? They're yeah, out here. You, you, doing, you, when doing it comes to, to um, do, film at, at university, yeah. like, to be so, honest, it's a bunch of failed filmmakers, innit? Mm-hmm. So, like, yeah, yeah. So, like, if you, if you really, if you, like, really knew what you was talking about, you wouldn't be here, like. That's just so that's just honest. That must be an honest, isn't it? I'm not even trying to be disrespectful. <laughs> so like, like I mean they do say those who can't do teach. Um You never heard of that phrase before? No, I know what you're talking about, but I haven't heard of that I mean, phrase. I, don't, I, don't, I, can't, I can't, I can't. But I can't 100 percent agree with that. Yeah, I can't. I can't agree with that got, when, it comes to, when it comes to this. Because you got people doing master classes that are doing their thing, and then they're still teaching people. You know, like their experience in that industry, in it. Mm-hmm. Like you've heard of like master classes, like uh, I know Spike Lee done one recently. There's like a whole website in it that's called Master Classes where you can see like people that have come and you know made their mark in the industry and are kind of just giving you know the people you know their experience and then mm-hmm. how you can you know maneuver the game as well. So yeah, but this. Definitely, you have a point where a lot of, I guess, teachers are coming to teach what they were previously doing, but I don't know, they failed or they're just not doing it anymore. Mm-hmm. It's and it's filmmaking it similar to actors and singers in that sense that like, mm-hmm. your success is not really dependent on you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, I, yeah, but I, I think less so. Mm-hmm. I think less so. Yeah. But, um, yeah, but I feel I like, that. yeah, I feel even with actors, Acting is huge, very Act- political as well. Yeah, yeah. When very it comes political. to um, yeah, I think um, acting definitely, music definitely. But like, say for say like filmmakers, mm-hmm. I think yes as well. But I think less so because you know mm-hmm. like the because because of the amount of like thought like the thought process and like the work that goes into it. I mm-hmm. think that's it's slightly different. Mm-hmm. It's still politics, mm-hmm. but slightly different it's because of the workload that they have. Mm-hmm. I think it's slightly different, but still politics. Still yeah, politics. It's, it's a hard thing because, like, obviously, when you go in for an audition, like, and you feel like you killed it, then how come they're not picking you? Like, think about the reasons. Maybe, maybe they knew somebody. Oh yeah, that's bigger. Yeah, more popular. Exactly. Yeah, that exactly. They, have a, they had someone. They free. Know. They're gonna pick them, innit? And they were right. half decent. That's facts. So it's, it's, a, it's a mad game out here, man. And that's why it's, I always find it a bit ridiculous. Uh, maybe ridiculous is a strong word, but when people say they want to do acting and they want to do it full time, and they don't like, it's a lot of variance in it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. And I always thought that's perhaps taking a second st- a step back and a more lax approach. Yeah. It's like, it's like, it's like saying you're a professional lottery winner or something like that. You know what I mean? yeah. Ooh, that's a good one, Snow. Yeah, a professional lottery That's a good one. one. Yeah, I know what you're good. saying, isn't it? I know what that's you're saying. You want to be a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a professional actor, by the way. Like, what, what is a professional actor? That's, that's a nice thing. I, I don't... I don't I, when someone says professional actor, I just... Mm. What the fuck? I don't, I don't rate that. Yeah. Yeah. Sense, really. Well, maybe they just say it to kind of boost their own... Yeah, they get it. Yeah. They say, I'm a professional filmmaker, a professional... Yeah. 
Then you got love, but you, you, what, you love the I mean, cool I mean, games I, of Washington. I mean, I mean they just say right? maybe to the distance themselves from the amateurs in their eyes. <laughs> yeah. So they was like, I'm a professional, so I don't know, kind of. I'm pretty sure we don't know actual professional actors though. You know them way right there. there. Yeah. But um, I don't know. Maybe they're professional in their approach. I don't know what it is. I just maybe that's just the title they give themselves to yeah. make them feel like it's like a serious thing to them. I don't know. Definitely, man. Definitely. But yeah, but how do you like approach auditions personally? Like, but, do you go into it with like a preconception that? I'm not gonna know, lie to you. When I've had big auditions, I used to shit myself. Yeah. I'd be like, oh my god, I'm so scared. I really want to get this role. I really mm-hmm. want to get this big yeah. money. I really want to. So you used to, you used to. Yeah. Now, now I've just treated like I just come and I go in it. Like I will go there. Oh, yeah. I'll give my best. It's better to be calm, yeah. And just leave you know what i mean but but in, in terms of the character yeah do you i used to overact no 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 not, not in terms of that but in terms of the character description that you're given and you're handed mm-hmm. do you act based upon that or do you bring all your own time. flair to it all the, time, all the time all the time i try to like if they're asking for a street person yeah. or like a gangster i'll dumb my language down to that yeah to okay. the best of my ability if they're looking for someone who's a freshie, I'll put on the biggest freshie accent I could put on, even if it doesn't sound authentic to me. Yeah. So yeah. I try to mm-hmm. give them what they're looking for. And as obviously as most actors, I get a lot, lot more no's than I ever do get yeses. Yeah. But, but have yeah. you ever thought about doing something completely different? In what sense? That's not on that on the piece of paper. That's so a risk. Bringing your, but yeah, but that a lot of times, a, a lot of times, the risk pays off because you might be able to deliver to the casting director something different because mm-hmm. everybody else is probably doing that. But then you come and walk into the room and then you give them a character that they wasn't particularly looking for, mm-hmm. but it was something that when they saw, they wanted, mm. you know? So maybe it's, that's something, I was asking if that's something you thought about like doing or have you done before, I, I, kind of. Usually, I, I think I can take those kind of risks on when it's student films. Because then I don't really give a fuck because I'm not getting paid Ooh, for it. Oh, you're talking crazy, okay. okay. I don't get paid for it and it's okay. more of a practice ground. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay then. But when it's actually paid stuff and it's actual like... You get nervous, big, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Bro, everyone does. And yeah, it's that makes sense. Because that's what you're doing this that makes for. Sense, yeah. That's why you started before when you yeah. said, I want to be an actor. That's what it's for. And yeah. you don't want to do anything that will jeopardize that. But yeah.